dinner is gonna be over here. I am at the annual Singapore Food Festival. Let's go check it out. So what's really unique about this food festival, first of all, is the first food festival after COVID uh, that Singapore has had. There's about, I think 25 or so vendors here and they all brought sort of a unique twist, like a food item that's uniquely prepared for this festival. For example, nasi lemak taco. Let's get some of that. A lot of the vendors created fusion dishes just for this festival. So this is a nasi lemak taco. First of all, it's adorable. It's like a one biter. So there's some rice cucumbers. I'm thinking it's fried chicken on top. The stain tastes like everything I love about nasi lemak in a fun foldable seaweed shell. <laughs> it's really good. It's tiny, I wish it was bigger. Sambal flavor is spicy, it's aggressive. It's the crunch is what I love about this. The shell perfectly crunchy, like tempura seaweed, which is genius. Mm. The rice is scrumptious, the fried chicken. Fried chicken is basically all crunch. You taste the shrimp paste, there's peanuts in here. That's a good little appetizer. All right, this next food item smells amazing. As soon as I walked near that booth, the smell of prawns is clobbering me. They call this the one prawn bisque. Look at this thing. Mussels, clams, a couple giant prawns, all sitting in this dark orange broth that just smells enchanting. Oh my goodness. And I think what they do here is that they mix prawn broth with ramen broth. So there's some pork in here as well. Oh, that's nice. Mm, this is such a unique broth. Mm, the flavor doesn't really hit you. I'm talking about four seconds later. When it goes through your mouth, the texture is pretty watery, but as soon as you swallow the broth, that's when you're getting hit by mostly the prawn flavor. You taste the creaminess of this broth as well. Hmm, this is a very prawny bowl of broth. And you get three giant prawns sitting in here. Oh, the shell has been taken off for you um, outside of the head. So you still got that great, oh, all that great flavor from inside the head still resides and make sure to slurp that up. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. <laughs> that is just so sweet. <sighs> Chase that, some of that delicious broth. Oh, this giant muscle too. Mm. The seafood all tastes so snappy and nice. So much of the seafood flavor is steeped into the soup. It's like one of those things where every sip you take, you kind of hold it there and you feel the world slow down a little bit. For a brief couple seconds, your worries just kind of float away. And all you can think about, all you can concentrate on is that delightfully smoky flavor of the soup. Mm. I really like this. Not oily, not heavy. <sighs> just so nice. After that bowl of soup, I'm kind of craving some noodles and I've been staring at this for the last 15 minutes or so. They have dry laksa. So of course, laksa typically is in a soup. Let's try the dry version. This next dish, dry laksa with tiger prawn. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Man, I'm already salivating. Looks like the tiger prawn just came off the grill. The little cockles in here as well, little dry shrimp. The laksa covered in sauce. Some tofu in here as well, with of course some sambal on the side. Whoa, I feel like every few seconds. I'm getting hit by a new flavor and the latest flavor, burning a layer of skin off my tongue. Wow, that's spicy. Can't at least handle a Taco Bell fire sauce times 50. Don't attempt this. 
Mm. The heavy heat is mostly from the sambal. The laksa itself is thick, it's rich, really nice fragrant flavors. A little chili hit, but mixed the sambal in there. Even better. Extreme heat, but also brings a great flavor profile. The texture I love, the chewiness of the tofu, the fish cake. The cacao is sweet, it's popping, it's juicy, it's delicious. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Dunk it and some of the chilies. Mm. This is the source of the flavor of the laksa. Prawn flavor is so distinct. There's so many different elements of texture. The flavor is sharp, but balanced. It's perfect after my bowl of soup. Thank you to the awesome people at Sour Bond. They brought over these donuts. These are really interesting. So this is a Basque cheesecake donut. I think this is strawberry cream donut, but there's some really interesting ones in here. There's chili crab, and there's pizza. There's a lot of interesting flavors. So let me try this one. Let me try the Basque cheesecake. Look at this. It's, like it's nice and toasted on the outside. Oh, that's pretty good. Whoa, blue cheese in here. They mentioned that. I forgot which one they said it was in. A little tiny bit of funk, which I think actually works pretty well with this. Taste that nice char flavor. It's really creamy on the inside. The outside is very chewy and airy. Mmm, it's kind of really good. This donut almost has like a mochi esque texture. Mmm, wish I had a cup of tea. I'm gonna take the rest home, put on some tea. I have a little midnight snack, or maybe just one more. Mmm. I love the strawberry milk one. These are very good stuffed donuts. Two down. Um, I just kind of just want to keep going with this. Let's try a savory one. This is the salmon. I think smoked salmon. On the top, kind of looks like an everything bagel. Oh. Tastes like an everything bagel with cream cheese. <laughs> this is actually really good. It made me miss New York. Mmm. Cream cheese is delicious. I love the spread on the top. I and mean, these are flavors I'm really, really familiar with and love. Savory, sweet. I can't go wrong with one of these donuts. Really good. Oh, I also want to show you guys this. So they give these boxes out to the first 100 people at the door. Let's see what's inside. What a big box. Heavy box, too. Oh, it was like a box of Singapore goodies. Freeze dried durian, a bag of mixed nuts and fruits, white coffee, premium coffee. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is also coffee. Hmm. Soy wine. Seriously? Soy wine. Huh. Interesting. Tiger beer. <laughs> this is good. Uh, Urban salted egg noodles, pre masala chips, and what is this? Oh, like a little sugar candy pop thing. All right, let's go eat some more. Shenwang, Cat King Dorian. One of the best, or some consider the best of all Dorian varieties. I've had fresh Dorian, never had a grill before, never had a grill with cheese before. This is awesome. Wow. It's sweet, slight hints of bitterness. Oh, this thing is just so creamy though. Now it's got a nice smoky flavor from the charcoal and also the cheese are just melts in your mouth. Wow, it's really not even all that funky. I feel like the frozen ones we get in the US, those are the funky ones. You get it fresh, it just smells good. Oh, it's so custardy. And once this is grilled, I feel like it becomes even sweeter and custier, your, custier, your, custier, custier, yes. This is really smooth. I remember the first time I ever had Dorian. It made my whole apartment smell very interesting. I think I was living with my parents at the time and I think they came home and thought I murdered someone. It's not nearly as pungent. I mean, the smell is definitely 
undeniable, but the taste is so good. I forget how good the fresh ones are. Gotta finish this because, uh, yeah, this is not allowed on the subway. That flavor is just intoxicating. This is almost too good. That's why it's the king of fruits. I gotta put this aside for just a few minutes because um, actually someone brought over the chili crab burger. It's actually a plant-based burger. Huge line for this burger as well. It's a chili crab patty. Oh, oh wow. I dabbed my finger in the sauce and just had a little lick. That might have been one of the most delicious finger licks I've had in a long, long time. Crispy patty covered in chili crab sauce. I'm so excited for this. I know it's plant-based and everything, but... Outside shell is subtly crispy. The sauce is a little sweet, savory, very spicy. The texture kind of tastes like a McDonald EB burger, like one of those shrimp burgers. I think there's rice inside. It kind of resembles crab meat. I mean, this is cooked very, very well. That crunch on the outside is so subtle, but so significant. I mean, I'm not gonna mistake this for a crab patty, but texture, flavor, pretty good. Also, I think some mozzarella sticks. But this is just the ultimate finisher. Cheesy grilled Dorian. Can't tell you guys how good this is. Forget everything you know about Dorian if you're if you never had a fresh in the US supermarkets. It's nothing like this. I implore everybody, ever go to Southeast Asia, you're able to try a fresh Dorian. Have it grilled. If they offer to put cheese on it and torch it, tell them. Heck yes. The best Dorian I ever had in my life. Right here. I never had a grill, never had cheese on there. I was missing out big time. This is absolutely addictive, amazingly addictive. Overall, really, really fun festival. It's great to actually see everybody out and about. It got such a wonderful night market vibe, just friendly people serving delicious food and everybody coming together because everybody loves food. Everything I tried today, delicious, especially that seafood soup and of course the grilled Dorian, some of my favorites, but well, really not a single bad bite tonight. And that marks another amazing food day here in Singapore. As always, information for all the places I ate at tonight, it's gonna be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.